Hey friends, and welcome back to the Multifamily Review, the On the Road edition, a podcast keeping you ahead of the curve in the world of multifamily. As always, I'm your host, Marcus Armstrong. Remember that feeling after a whirlwind trip to Vegas, the lights, the energy, the lingering hope you'd somehow crack the code to beating the house? Well, swap the slot machines for cutting edge prop tech and the roulette wheel for insightful keynote speeches, and you've got real pages, real world. The preeminent conference for multifamily professionals. I recently had the chance to sit down with Ryan Rasser from GWR, fresh off the conference floor in Vegas to break down all the biggest takeaways, especially the industry's growing fascination with AI. So buckle up, grab your noise canceling headphones because what happens at real world definitely doesn't stay there. Ryan, thank you for joining us today. Sure, of course. Before we get started, how was Vegas? Did you win any money? It's, you know, Vegas is either win or lose. And unfortunately, I did not come home with the big bucks this time. I, I left some big bucks there, but there will be plenty of other times to be in Vegas. You know, it's one of those things that feels so silly to me because every time I go to Vegas, you're right, I end up leaving a little bit of money there. And uh, I've yet to bring anything home to show for it and still yeah. keep wanting to go back. I can be pretty lucky sometimes. Um, I just was not this time, but you know, What's that? Some, as I say, you win some, you lose some. So I have a very uh, good friend who always tells me that if you can't afford to uh, lose it, then don't go to Vegas. So that's probably some really good advice. We are here uh, to not just talk about Vegas, but to talk about what is arguably one of the more important conferences for our industry, Real Pages real world. I got to ask, what was the overall vibe or the biggest takeaway from the conference this year? This was my ninth uh, real world. So I've, I've been to a lot of them. I've been to different areas and, uh, of the country with them, which has been great. I think the overall vibe was, uh, again, mostly AI. They're launching some really innovative products um, with their AI platform, as well as with the new loft, which is the new resident experience. For me, real world always is a great opportunity because we get to meet with other colleagues that are using different products. So it's not just a salesperson telling me how to use the product or how the product is going to work, but actually getting firsthand knowledge and experience, uh, talking with others of what they're doing with their companies and how they're leveraging the different products in, in their company. So when I go to look at it and look at products for GWR management, I can talk to different people throughout the whole, um, you know, portfolio that they that they service. I think overall, far reaching, uh, well, hands down, was innovation with AI this year. Uh, it seems like NA, NAA uh, National Apartment Association was all about about AI, uh, and real world continued that trend this year, um, talking, you know, mainly about Lumina, which is their new um, AI platform, and then uh, the new Loft experience. I think you're absolutely right. AI is, I think, the hottest buzzword for our industry, specifically about AI. Did, there, did they have anything that surprised you, or was there anything that you felt was unexpected that they were doing? When I look at how many, num the number of units that they service, and the, the way that they're using it, um, it's, it's, it allows them to um, use that data there that they're receiving from all of these different sites and all these different um, apartments and communities um, to basically make connections, identify trends, um, recognize the intent that's behind a lot of it, and then... Um, you know, basically tell you what's going to happen with pretty, pretty accurate accuracy. I mean, uh, pretty great accuracy when we, they were showing us different platforms and different demos, you know, I mean, in my, in my mind, I'm like, okay, well, it's going to do this, it's going to do this, it's going to do this. And in some respects, it did exactly kind of what my mind would do. And in other respects, it came out with a different outcome. And I was like, oh, I would never even would have thought about that. But, but there it was right in front of me. And I, I could see it happening. AI is, is, is such a big thing right now. Um, you know, we, and really AI has been around for years. Um, you know, when you think about uh, the creation of the internet and how we, stuff has moved forward and it has done predictions and, and stuff like that, but it hasn't been leveraged in a way that it is now to move forward and, and what we're doing. Um, I think there's a lot of trepidation 
in some respect, especially, uh, you know, I'm, on my part, I, speaking for myself, I mean, I think that AI could be used for great and I think it can be used for not so great things at times, you know, and I mean, when I look at it, I mean, you know, you think about the movies when we were kids about the world being taken over by robots and, and all that. And it's like, it's kind of actually happening. I mean, we're really kind of living in that, you know, that Jetsons world minus the, uh, the, the flying cars. Um, but I do think that it's, uh, it's something that we all are going to have to adapt to. Uh, because I think it is the future of of what multifamily, and I think it's the future of what we're doing. So I think if we if we don't adapt to it in certain ways, we're going to be left behind. Going back to your uh, Jetsons reference, I am disappointed we don't have flying cars yet. I do think though you're bringing up a really great point. AI has been around since like you know the 80s or 70s, uh, way back when, and. Sure, the AI models that they were using back then were a little bit more simplistic, but I think what really opened up the doors uh, for AI, you know, general purpose use for some of these large language models, right, where you can use natural English to get some type of response out of it. It's no longer hidden behind the curtain of people who know how to code and program and know math and stuff like that. The everyday person now has the ability to use AI. And I think you're right, you either uh, pick up on it now or you end up falling behind it. I think multifamily as a whole is picking up on it. And I would say real page uh, is definitely picking up on it. You know, one of the things too, I think, especially when you're like, I mean, Houston, or we're in Houston, it's a um, bilingual market. And I think one of the things that I really liked about it was that it will have the ability eventually to, um, if I have a Spanish speaking person in front of me or a Korean speaking person in front of me or a Chinese speaking person in front of me, and they're trying to talk to me, there's a language barrier and it's hard to communicate at times. Um, with this, they can communicate in their native language to the system and the system will communicate with me in my native language. So, you know, it, it will, it really removes that need for, somebody to be bilingual in the office or somebody to be bilingual in what we're doing because the system will automatically translate and take care of that. So there, there are many good things I think that will come from it. Um, and I think that's just one of them. I don't think uh, we need to view AI as the scary Skynet Terminator thing, but more of a, a way to, you know, help make what we do better. So provide that better level of service uh, through the entire, uh, you know, life cycle of a prospect and resident. I got to ask you though, which keynote speaker or presentation made the biggest impact on you and why? I think Dana's keynote always inspires me every year. Um, and Dana Jones is the CEO of, of Real Page. She always comes out and does the first presentation and it, it really gives a client. So for me, it's it's really kind of the ability to see behind the curtain, if you will. We all go to work, we function, we we are in our, we work with the apartment associations, we do that, but but we don't see it on a glow on a on a really on a global, national and global level like they do because they're not only in the United States, they're also in Europe as well. You're they, they get the data from all of these different markets and and they're really able to really make trends and and definite um, trend analysis is about where stuff is going you know they started out there's there's all kinds of facts going on across the screen and stuff like that and, and it leads them to what they're working on next um so i think dana's i would have to say dana's probably the most the one that has the most impact on me her, her keynote just being able to see what's in the pipeline what's coming you know kind of trying to predict what maybe next year's conference is going to be about because she's already started to talk about what they're working on and also seeing how they impact other companies as well. When you're when you're sitting in your office and you're working on real page or working on one site, you, you just kind of, you know, you're kind of in your own little space. But then you walk into a room and there's thousands of people there. It's it's like, okay, well, this is I'm I'm not just one little person working here, I, you know, working with these products. It's it's a lot of people. I wanted to kind of wheel this back a little bit to to Dana, and you're talking about her keynote and what they're you know kind of working on and you know where that's looking at in the future. You talked about Lumina as well. What other groundbreaking ideas or products were announced that you know our listeners to this particular podcast should know about? I I, I do think that um, you know some of the integrations as far as uh, Loft Loft is going to be the new 
uh, resident experience, basically a digital platform that is going to offer the an integrated journey from when they apply for the apartment to when they move out. So yeah, I think it's, uh, it's something that's needed. It's something that, that we don't have currently. Um, and they're the first to move in this direction. So I think that it will be interesting to see how others kind of catch up, but with loft, the, the great thing, um, and I think we're, we're very excited to roll it out at our company as well, is that we, there's, there's different pain points in, in multifamily, uh, especially, you know, around leasing and around, um, uh, getting leases signed and stuff like that, that require residents to turn and applicants to turn items in. And with this new system, it will put stop gaps in place. So, you know, if, if you're applying, you need to, you know, fill out your IDV and you need to fill out your paperwork. If you don't do that, you can't move forward to the next step. I think it's going to help uh, operators like myself be able to really focus on getting what we need and done and completed prior to them moving forward. So I think that's going to be a great experience. And it's also going to be a great experience for the residents because it's putting everything in one place so they can do their payments. They can rent out the club room. They can do reservations. They can do uh, all kinds of different uh, property and community things, as well as communicate with other people, uh, as well as communicate with the office, put in work orders, and probably the most important for us, pay their rent. Um, so I think that's going to be uh, a great opportunity for, for them to have that. Offering a loyalty rewards program. You know, I mean, you go to Starbucks, you, you always give them your card. You go to uh, the gas pump, you always, you know, scan your card first. So the world is moving towards a loyalty situation with airlines, with hotels, with travel. And I think it makes sense to move that way with with uh, housing as well. I can't think of anything that I do now that doesn't have some type of loyalty yeah. program attached to it, right? I mean, even yep. McDonald's has like yep. loyalty exactly. rewards points. And if these people have it, where you live should probably have something like that too. I recently heard this thing that talked about, you know, the use of technology this way that, you know, one way we can think about this is if you're a leasing professional, right? I didn't hire you to be a person who's stuck behind a desk, worried about certain paperwork, worried about, you know, logging things in a system or something like that. I hired you because I thought you were bright and bubbly and you had the right personality to deal with people. So now a lot of this technology that I'm seeing is really kind of gearing us back towards that saying like, hey, don't worry about some of these other little tasks, right? The system is in place to handle that for you. You just worry about providing the best level of service that you can. So right. I'm super excited to see this type of stuff be uh, brought up by RealPage for sure. You talked earlier about how it's really interesting to get to these types of conferences and you know talk to other operators about how they're using the system, right? And you know maybe it's eye opening in some ways, you know a little bit different than y'all use it at GWR. But were there any networking events set up at Real World uh, or any opportunities that you found particularly valuable to get this insight from other operators? Throughout the conference, there are many different times to network. Um, you know, we have the, the lunches. They, they always offer lunches. Um, the first evening, there's a uh, Sunday evening, there's always a get together, um, which is at the Real Expo. The the great thing about the Expo is it's kind of like a mini trade show. I mean, if you've been to any NAA or TAA or any of the apartment association trade shows, you know what that's like. But with Real World, it's set up in a, in a unique way that you can... Kind of, there's a there's a very good flow throughout the throughout the room, um, and their sponsors will come in and and demo their products. So we don't operate in um, the senior living or the student population at this point, um, but there's uh, sponsorships from some of that. So you you'll be able to see different things that maybe I don't use it right now, but down the road I might. Um, and I think with the networking, you know, you're in a great spot. You're at the win in Las Vegas. So, I mean, it, you know, you couldn't ask for a better spot, but you, you have um, opportunities to stand around and talk to each other and, and, and while eating dinner or, or enjoying, you know, hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that and, and drinks, just having the opportunities that they put throughout the day, uh, which are, you know, in different locations throughout the conference to, to, you know, talk and find out, you know, how are you using this or, or what are, what are you doing that? When I came to GWR um, or into this role in GWR, I've been here now 17 years and I've been in this position, I think seven. Um, 
we had just purchased another company. And one of the things that we really wanted to do is, is streamline our operations because we're in different states and I need to be able to send somebody from Texas to South Carolina to work. And I need to, I need the properties to function the same way. And RealPage was instrumental in that for us in the moving, you know, we kind of had, you know, you, you see kids make a robot when they're kid, when they're children, they, they have a body and they're like putting a, you know, a square, a square peg on this side and a circle on this side. That's kind of what we ran like before, because it was like, we had all these different attachments that we worked with this company and this company, but they all fed into real page. And then you moved everything to real page and it's like, okay, now I've got an actual robot that's functioning. Um, and then, so we, now we talk to other operators to see what, what we can do with them. But I think when, when you have that ability to talk to people and get to know people, and then you go to the conference year after year and you're seeing the same people, you can follow up and find out, you know, how, how is it working for you? What's working? What's not working? What would you do better? Hey, I'm, I'm about to implement this product. I know you use it. What can I expect? Um, so it's, it's great to have that, uh, time. And, and I, I think real page does a really good job at the conference of giving opportunities to, you know, go to conferences, you go to conference, you go to learn, uh, you go to the education sessions, but there's also times to just network and find out how things are going. Uh, you did mention robots and we're talking about robots and AI. I'm seeing the trend here. It's exactly yeah. what's happening. Last question for you, Ryan. Uh, outside of any new products you picked up uh, through uh, real world, are there any key takeaways or action items that you're looking to bring back to your own work after attending real world? There are. I, I think, you know, we are moving towards AI uh, with with GWR. And I think it's it's something that we're definitely is on the horizon for us. Uh, I mean, we do use it in some capacity right now, but not in the full capacity that we uh, that we have the opportunity to. Um, so I think we'll definitely be looking at that. I think we'll be looking at some of the, um, integrations that they have with budgeting that we we've used for all these years. And now there's a new, some new excitement with that. And I think the, the new loft, uh, resident experience will definitely be something that we roll out, uh, to our company, um, just for, for ease with not only the staff, but also it'll make our staff's jobs easier, but it also, and more importantly, in many respects, it will make the residents experience better. And that's what we want. We want our residents to be happy. Thank you so much for joining today, Ryan. Sure. It was great to be here. And that's a wrap. A big thank you to Ryan for joining us and pulling back the curtain on RealPage's real world. It's clear that RealPage is at the forefront of innovation in the multifamily space and their advancements in AI are particularly exciting. I can't wait to see how they continue to shape the industry. For our listeners, if you're eager to learn more about the groundbreaking products Ryan discussed, uh, like Lumina and Loft, be sure to visit RealPage's website at realpage.com. And remember to subscribe to the Multifamily Review. We're constantly exploring the trends and technologies transforming the multifamily world, and you don't want to miss a thing. As always, I've been your host, Marcus Armstrong, and if I don't see you, good evening, good afternoon, and good night.